Afternoon, everyone. This is Corey Babka from Arcs Group Live. Happy to be reviewing today, working with case escalation in Zoho CRM. After the video is over, feel free to email us at supportmarksgrouplive.com. Any questions on the subject, anything else, Zoho. Uh, be sure to rate this class as well to help out your fellow subscribers, as well as us to improve our library continually. Here are the things that we're going to be taking or the takeaways from today. Okay. So what we're going to talk about are time-based triggers, uh, not to be confused with workflow, because case escalation is a little bit different, but I'll talk about that. Making sure that your cases are handled in a timely manner. That's the goal of case escalation. Uh, you need to have in mind as to what email templates you want to blast out to your users, as well as the end user that actually reported the case. Uh, also think about the case timing different criteria to, to kick off the rules. Okay, so let's go ahead. We're going to again pop into case escalation. Let's go right to Zoho and see how that works. So first things that we're talking about here are actual cases themselves. If you don't have that exposed, you want to look at that in here, you know, in your more drop down. And this is our cases. So for instance, I might have something here that says, it's a gold mine premium product issue where I can't open up. The user reported and said they can't open up gold mine, which is a lookup table issue, and they, they log it, they do all that, and, and away we go. Okay, the account name is here, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So that would be what a case would be. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about case escalation. If I was looking at this one here for XYZ company, that getting errors that Outlook is crashing while the add-in is enabled. That's fine, we have the contact person. But let's say this is a high or a critical, priorities high, um, you know, the, the issue is with a product that's expensive, something along those lines. What we can do is we can create an escalation rule that will make sure that the right internal team members are notified ASAP because this has dragged on too long. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to setup. And we're going to, it is in the automation, but we're going to go to the case escalation rule. So not to be confused again with workflow that can do other things. Um, like if I update this field to that, I can notify someone and change ownership. That's another way of doing escalation if you wanted to. Um, if you wanted to say, if I change the priority from medium to high, maybe I want to send this over to Megan because she's my expert in gold mine. So therefore it would, it would be done that way. However, case escalation is more time-based, okay? So for instance, if I wanted to look at one of our existing ones, like a VIP case, I've got criteria here that says the priority is medium or high. And you can actually reorder this as well because if it's medium, it's gonna fire off. If it's high, it's gonna fire off. It depends on what you want to do there. You could also mix and match your different criteria. Maybe a product item is more important than the status or the status is more important than the product. Whatever you want to do, you can do it that way. But within each rule, for instance here, I have the priority is medium. If I edit this rule, what I get is that the priority is medium and escalation times are, st are set by case modified or case created. A lot of times it's case created, right? And I would save that. But if I click on this, now what happens is you have at 48 hours, we're going to escalate this to this user. Okay. And so let's look at that. So at 48 hours, we do this here. And you can see I've got a whole listing of hours that I can do all the way up to 150 hours. So at 48 hours, I'm going to escalate this record to the general user. Now in your case, it might be 10 or 15 different users, so that's fine. We only have two in the sample set, as you know. Then what I would do is I would use my template, and I can look at my email template, and I can even preview it to see what it says. Now it's just a template that says the case has been escalated. Not much, right? I can edit the template by going over here, right? And I can look at this, and I can add, add things in, and I can put in a subject, do images, etc., etc. Okay, I can do all that. Right now, let me just close out of this since we're in a separate window here. And then I'm back in here. So we would use this one here and we'd update that template. And then the other one would be assign the owner. So we're escalating it here and then we're assigning owner. Owner you may not reassign, but most likely in my world, I think you'd make these match. Then the other one, you'd select the template, notify assignee, as in, do I need to notify 
that the gen user send them an email and here's a template same thing now we're we have the same one in here but we could use an internal template that says you know dear dear Sally or dear Corey dear Megan you need to take care of this ASAP thanks for your help and then we do that that way okay now you can at this point I'm actually gonna see if we could we could go to all templates and see a whole bunch right we only got that one but I'm betting that I could probably leave this off as well if I don't want one okay additional emails I like this part too because additional emails is I could notify someone might be a field rep a manager something along those lines is what we could do right um, you could also just do this notify the user here right where we've got it this way and then we could say you know, choose the items related that should be transferred so there's a little bit more with the change ownership so all open tasks would also be open calls open tasks open events would also be changed over that new user this one here again is just to notify or it's just to select the owner and escalate it um, the assign the owner I guess this is more for the activities themselves right choose the items so a little bit weird that it kind of confuses that there making it sound like you're doing two owners but you're not one is the owner of the record and one is the actual assignee for the tasks or activities again a template and then additional emails and I could do this here and say I want to have you know um, I could add it to people outside these are a list of emails that I have outside the system so I could type in whatever I want okay so that one is 48 hours right and that's medium let's cancel this out let's look at instead when it's high well when it's high at 24 hours we go to the admin right and then at 30 hours we go to the gen user as well so in this case we're actually escalating it quicker so if we look at this here it was 24 then 30 and this one was 48 so if anything we might want to reorder this and make these make this two and this one one and then save it and then we'll reorder it. so I would take care of it here this takes care of 24 30 and then this one the other one would take care of the 48 so you're still waiting but we're still escalating so I mean if it takes two days I need to be able to do something with it and this is that type of thing that you're dealing with when you're when you're an end user think about yourself as a customer when you have a high priority case you need to make sure that it falls into a specific timeline now maybe you have service level agreements with your clients that if they're a VIP or a platinum level or a gold level they're guaranteed a six hour you know escalation or a six hour re resolution on their cases so therefore after two hours you need to escalate the right people and notify a bunch of folks to make sure that you're you're meeting those standards right so when we're doing this here if I was to do a new one all I would do is I would click on that new escalation rule and I can call this um, product escalation, right? I would say it's active, save it, okay? And so there's my product there. And now you notice what happened is, is the other one went away, right? You can only have one escalation rule in place. And that's a little bit confusing, but not really. What you would do instead is you would just add a bunch of rules to the same one. So if I did product escalation, right, and I clicked on this here, I would see here I would create the rule. And I would say if the product is, okay, and I could go in there and say like dynamics, right, or let's say Zoho, okay, I would say the escalation rules created time, save it, and I would say what we need to do, product is Zoho, right we have that there new escalation action and after two hours we're going to escalate to the admin user right we're going to go to the admin user here and we're going to make all those things assigned to him or her okay our template we have to choose one and we can just save this one if we want and this one we can leave it blank if we don't want to if you don't select one you don't have to you can get rid of it okay so that type of thing there. Uh, select template. I think once I've done it though, I don't think I can get rid of it. That's the problem, right? So I've already done it. I'd have to cancel this action out. And then I could do other emails if I want, and then I'd save that, and then I'd be fine. So after two hours, you know, this is if the if the product is Zoho. Okay. 
So I do that fine. That's that's all good, right? And then I would cancel this out. And I go back into my product, and you see there's product is Zoho. Maybe add another rule that I would say product is or contains dynamics. And if that was the case there, you could also do or product contains Salesforce. Right? And then we change the pattern, make this an or. Always be careful on that because the thing is you can't have a Dynamics and a Salesforce at the same time. And then we do a big case created time, save that. And then, now in this one, we're going to add the action and it's going to be in four hours. We're going to escalate it to, okay, et cetera, et cetera. And you get the point of where we are, okay? Uh, we, have to do an, we have to do a template. Actually, let's, let's change that out. I want to see what happened when I saved it. So it says, choose the email template you did, you use to notify a user when it's been escalated, okay? So this right here is their public email, right? And then assign the owner again and save this. And there it is, okay? So we've got another one. Now, in this case, I'm going to go out to my VIP cases and make that one active because I like that better. But you understand what I was doing there, okay? So quick takeaways from this one. Essentially, again, we're talking time-based triggers. You know, a lot of what we talked about was the hour, a four-hour, eight-hour, 48, 30, whatever hours those are. Now, keep in mind, those are hours, not days. So when I was doing four hours and six hours, you have to be careful of that. Okay, uh, you need to have your templates created before you create them because it's asking for what template is in use. Okay, and then you also think about the case timing, the different criteria. Is it product? Is it VIP status? Is it the status of the case itself, whether high, medium, low? Uh, all those different things kind of come into play. All right, so hope you enjoyed that. Hope that case escalation makes a little bit more sense at this point. I uh, wanted you to check out our other videos in the library itself. See if there's other training like this one. Search for cases if you want to find other videos that are related to cases, for instance. If any suggestions for other classes, anything you're not finding, any questions, support needs for Zoho, drop us a line at support at marksgrouplive.com. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed it.